Muhammad Ali, of course, the boxer, the legend, but also a man crippled with Parkinson's disease. He died last month. Well, in this country, there's as many as 10,000 people suffering from the same condition. That's one in 500. Now a group has just started fighting the disease, quite literally, in a way that would make the great man himself very proud. He's Matt Chisholm. Thinking, talking, Jim conjures up images like these. Young, buff, and beautiful going berserk. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on, go play. But here on Auckland's North Shore, it's this group of boxers, all with Parkinson's disease. Jab, cross, again. That has chins wagging. Former Kiwi heavyweight champ on the back foot. Yeah, they go hard. I, I try and get them to slow down a bit, eh? Sometimes, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, God, don't do anything, you know, just calm down. Hey now, you're an all-star. They're fighting back, and they're fighting back in the way I hope that I have the courage to, should I have to face something similar. What's your fight name? The Greatest. And why do they call you the Greatest? Because I am. <laughs> Can't stop addicted to the shame dick. The sport that doctors say contributed to the late Muhammad Ali's Parkinson's disease. Greatest of all time. Ironically helping people with the same incurable degenerative condition. <laughs> Gives in. It's like rust that never sleeps. A condition where movement slows, stiffness grows, balance becomes more difficult. So I certainly see people stop having tremors, at least for the, uh, the time during boxing and immediately after. I see much better posture. I see them handling changing directions and moving through crowded spaces. Is it that boxing is good or any form of physical activity is good? I think both are really important. So what boxing has that's really important for Parkinson's is it's rhythmic. Um, there are very visual cues and targets, and there's a huge balance, coordination, agility thing with boxing. While this proven non-contact program has been punching away in the States for a few years... And our boxers here are not hitting each other in the head. Flip, again, jab, cross. Canadian Lisa Gombinski-Roach has been helping Kiwis fight back since October, with 30 otherwise tremoring yet powerful boxers on her books. Yeah, good, off you go. What we've got is pure gold. I don't expect to live longer. I do expect a higher quality of life. Can I just say, Terry, you're still packing a pretty good punch? Uh, only for a first, first couple. <laughs> <laughs> this training, this socialisation. 70th birthday coming up tomorrow for Mr G. Magic for the mind, they say, as well as those muscles. There is a lot that people can do for themselves, and I think understanding that is an incredibly empowering thing. It's very different than being told, like, you know, go home and sit and wait till you need a wheelchair and you die. Now people are understanding, you know, if you exercise, this is going to be a much better journey for you. Have you ever thought about catching up with these guys outside of the group for coffee? Uh, what about whiskeys? Uh, rum. <laughs> <laughs> so if you or someone you know has Parkinson's and like the look of what you see, good news, Lisa and Shane want to go national. I would say watch this space and hopefully in the next couple of months we'll be able to tell you exactly how that's working to tell you where our, our first satellite program is. I can see that you are really into this. You're not going to throw in the towel anytime soon, are you? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm in for the fight. In for 12 rounds. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was reading a thing on the radio this morning. There are over 1,100 neurological conditions and there's not a cure for a single one of them. 1,100 plus. It's, it's incredible. Isn't it? And you know what I also wonder? I wonder in the fullness of time, in like two generations' time, whether they, because you're dealing with a lot of people there who, the, the whole exercise industry is a modern phenomenon, isn't yeah. it? And you're dealing with a generation of people who never ne overtly went and exercised. No. And I just wonder if there's not a connection between yeah. the two. It's as much as a mental thing as it is physical. And what yeah. I liked about that, it was getting the control back. And mm. that's what it must feel like when you have an illness like that, that you, you know, you don't have that control.